Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a wardrobe rework video. So I did one of these last year. I did one for autumn. Um, and if you didn't see that video, then I'll just explain it to you really, really quickly. Um, Cause I know I do a lot of videos which in which I'm buying new things and I'm hauling things, but I'm aware that, you know, it's not always possible for everyone to be, you know, buying new things all the time. And a really fun part about styling and playing with clothes is just working with what you already have um, and making it work for that current season. But I haven't bought any Anything new for this video I'm gonna go into my wardrobe and I'm gonna try not to use any items that I've purchased over the last few weeks or last month or two hopefully use some things from last summer as well and just style them in the way that I would at the moment and um, if you're wondering before I start my t-shirt is from uh, French Connection my necklaces are from Miss Soma and then I'm wearing these like cropped wide leg jeans from Topshop. I love them. These are so comfortable. Sorry, I know this video isn't about new things, but I do love these. <laughs> I wanna put together something fun, something not too usual. White trousers, I never wear these. I don't know why. With I, I never reach for my white trousers. Let's do a white trousers look. I've got all my other slogan tees here. Oh no, that'll be nice. Okay, I know you guys have probably seen this top so many times, um, but I don't think I've ever worn this before and I've had this top for quite a while. I got it quite a few months ago. Um, it's from Topshop. It's just a, a kind of like a wrap polka dot top. And these trousers are from And Other Stories. Kind of simple straight leg, a nice kind of summer city outfit. I'm thinking of doing like a summer in the city sort of lookbook as well. So let me know if you'd like to see that or just outfits I would wear in London. I'm gonna try and accessorize it the best that I can with items I've had for a while. Fingers crossed it works. I haven't planned any of these outfits. I'm literally putting them together now. <laughs> just found this skirt I was I'm out of breath because I was rummaging this skirt is from American Apparel which I think went out of business but now they're back I've seen like posters and things that they're back maybe I think it's just online anyway so it's this really really lovely like flappy wrap skirt which I haven't really worn much at all I think I've got it because I love the color and it looks like it would be really really cute let's think what can I put with this would that work um, I think I'm gonna try this on. I'm gonna see if it works. I don't know if it'll work. I feel like these colors will look really, really nice together. I'm gonna choose another top as well, just so I've got some options. I feel like this is probably one of the most fail-safe pieces to, you know, to try as well. Um, because you know, for summer, I don't really tend to go really, really crazy, mixing prints and things. I really want to experiment more, but if something is like the centerpiece of an outfit, I tend to dress down the rest of the outfit a little bit. So, if the pink top doesn't work, I'm gonna try this one. This is just a cami that I got from Topshop quite a few months ago now. Something that is just a good staple. I feel like most people would have one of these. Let's try this. A kind of more playful, colorful outfit, hopefully. <laughs> Should I style these or not? So I feel like that's a sign that I should because I'm really drawn to them. Um, I, I hardly ever wear these. I get these pieces because I'm like, that's a great staple piece and then I just don't tend to grab for them. I don't know why. So I'm gonna force myself to style these because they're such a, such a classic 
thing to have in your wardrobe. Over the years I've read so many style books and they all say you need to have just a pair of like, are they called like chinos? Um, basically this colour trouser. Um, these ones have a slightly tapered leg, they have a, a bit of a paper bag waist. Okay, so what can I put with this? I feel like a white shirt would look really nice. So I've got this shirt. This is just a plain basic shirt from Topshop. I've had it for a while. I hope this works. It might look a little bit too smart and businessy, um, but maybe with some sandals or something, it can casu casual it down a little bit. So outfit number three, kind of like a slightly smarter, quite practical look, especially for summer. I feel like it's so easy for me to be able to just pick up an old maxi dress that I have or something and show that, but obviously that's too easy. So I'm just trying to challenge myself a little bit. from Boohoo last year. I didn't actually end up wearing it that much, but I'm gonna try and do something fun with this because I know it is a dress um, and it's easy to just style a dress, uh, you know, throw it on, style it and go. Maybe trainers or something. I thought it's nice to have a dress in there as one of the looks because obviously dresses are such a go-to summer thing. It's uh, obviously quite similar to the Realization Par dresses that are much more expensive than this one was. A fourth one, I'm throwing it in just for a bit of fun. <laughs> please let me know down below. Usually whenever I do buy things like clothing items, they're things that I do genuinely love. But yeah, still, I know that there is a lot of new things in quite often. So hopefully you guys liked this video and like the like ethos behind it. Even though it's not about new things, if you did want to know where to go to get any items like these, then I'll link some down below. No pressure to go buy anything, but you know, if anything caught your eye or if there's a staple piece in this video that you realized you would like in your wardrobe, I'll put some things down below in the pens bar. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. Let me know what your favorite look was down below. I'd love to know. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.